Welcome to Extreme Excel. In this video tutorial, we'll see how to delete selected emails from Outlook. So we will be using Inbox and we'll be deleting some emails from it. So for the time being, I'm applying a filter to delete a set of emails from my Inbox. You can see there are a few emails from Pullman Hotels and I want to delete them. So for that, I'll be uh, writing a sub procedure. So first of all, write sub and name of procedure let's call it as delete messages since we need to deal with microsoft outlook so first of all we need to import the library for outlook uh, microsoft outlook uh, library and then we need to create an object for outlook application so before creating object we need to define it so dim ol as outlook dot application and then we need to define the namespace so ol ns as outlook dot namespace namespace is basically we need to tell it that we are going to use message api then we'll be dealing with inbox so we need to define uh, inbox as well and before definition we need declaration so it is outlook dot mapi folder so inbox is a folder and mapi stands for my uh, messaging api and we need to deal with one of the items that will be taken care for the timing i'm declaring it as object so we'll see how we, we are using it so uh, we, we are first setting ol equals outlook dot application and then namespace olns is ol which is outlook dot application uh, object dot get namespace and we are going to use the namespace named as mapi now we are into the namespace after that we need to go to the specific folder from that namespace so set ol inbox equals olns dot from the current namespace go to a particular directory and that directory is inbox so for that we'll be using the function get default folder and here we'll be passing on which folder we want to access so for inbox it is ol folder inbox now ol inbox is the inbox object now we need to iterate through all the emails of that inbox so all these emails are nothing but mail items so therefore i'm iterating through all the items of inbox and each object i'll be keeping in ol item therefore i declare it as an object i can also declare it as mail item so now since we are iterating through we need to check whether that item is a mail item or not if it is a mail item then we need to process something we need to check the subject or we need to check the sender and if it, uh, the sender is let's say pullman hotels we want to delete that email so first of all we are checking whether that is uh, the class of that object is mail element or not ol mail so if it is true in that case we write another uh, if block inside this if block which will be checking our condition that if we are checking whether the subject or let's say sender whatever uh, contains let's say pullman hotels so ol item dot subject contains my content we can put here whatever we want to search for so if this is greater than zero that means that particular text is present in the subject in that case we can take action so i'm closing this this if block here using end if and inside this we need to first of all check what is the subject so i'm trying to figure out if a few of the emails have a common subject so let us filter uh, no most of these have a different uh, subject so better is if we um, delete them using sender name because in all uh, their sender names we can see pullmanhotels.com is common so what we can do is we can go back here and instead of using subject we can use sender and if sender contains pullman hotels dot com p is capital so we need to make sure that we put it p or we can 
otherwise uh, convert the case of both the texts and if this is true in that case we will first move that element to deleted folder and then we will delete it so set ol item equals ol item dot move so we are moving it to specific folder so what we are going to do is we are going to use session object session dot get default folder and we are setting the default folder for that particular item to deleted folder so that item is now moved to deleted and will delete it using ol item dot delete so that is all uh, since we have created some objects we have uh, used names ol olns and ol inbox we can release them using set ol item equals nothing set ol namespace equals nothing and ol inbox equals nothing so if we sort by the name uh, by the sender from you can see there are 15 items uh, so here if we run this it should delete all the items but there is a possibility that this piece of code through exception uh, let us say there is an email in my inbox uh, which uh, I just drafted or which, which let's say is not having any sender name or it may be something uh, I mean which is throwing exception as this point due to which is it is not able to reach to the next point so for that what we can do we can do error handling we can say that on error simply resume to the next statement right and if there is error here in this statement just clear it off if error dot number is not zero in that case error dot clear and if it is not true in that case delete the item right so let us run it now let's see what happens when i run on the left side you can see the emails in my inbox there are 15 mail items with the uh, sender name as pullmanhotels.com so that's all uh, so it has deleted all the emails with the subject or you can see the sender name um, thank you for being with us you were watching extreme excel and my name is kamal Gader. stay connected